last time on Phantom Hourglass, the abridged seer. Come back to you. Last time on Phantom Hourglass Seabird series, Tetra was turned into a statue. In other words, she was stone. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Up yours! Back in my day, we did stuff that sounds retarded! Shut up, old man. Wait, what the- Ocious, what are you doing here? I have come to reveal the plot. First, now this will shock you, I'm sure, so listen closely. I... I'm the Ocean King! Yeah, we already kind of figured that out a long time ago. Wow, you're the Ocean King? That's amazing! How'd you hide it so well? Can you please just shut up? I'm going to start talking now. So you better listen up. Listen! To me. Alright, let's begin. Not long ago, I was attacked by a terrible evil, an eyeball boss, but not just any eyeball boss, the boss of all eyeball boss is things. His name is Bellum. Hey cool, we finally get to learn who the head bad guy is. Shut up! I'm telling a story! Bellum was like a parasite, sapping away my life force and the life force of all others. I fought with Bellum in order to stop him from all his sucking stuff. But sadly, I started having a hernia and couldn't continue fighting and was reduced to the old man standing before you and using the life force stolen from me that seems to have become a bunch of sand for some weird reason. Bellum created a horde of monsters. All of them with googly eyes! Googly, googly eyes! Oh, the googly. These googly-eyed monsters continue to torment the islanders and steal life force for Bellum, who has made his home deep within my own temple. But, legend says that a green and mighty hero will come and save us from this horror and restore peace to our seas. And that's my story. What do you think? Awesome! Retarded. I haven't been listening. Wait a second. Old man, are you saying there's no treasure? Which is apparently the reason I've been traveling with Link even though we haven't mentioned it in this series yet? That's about right. No! Depression. Huh. <laughs> Spaz. Anyways, Link, if you go see the blacksmith Zaws, who can forge a sword of rare material, this sword is the only thing that can defeat Bellum. Weird that nothing else can, but oh well. Sure, I can go. I'm over here now, and no way am I helping without treasure involved. I won't let anyone use my ship to go anywhere. Look, I don't like traveling with Link either, but it has to be done in order to save everyone. Well, I'm too pretty to care. So scram! <laughs> Did you know that if I have all of my life force back, I can use ancient genie powers to grant you one wish? Any wish to your heart's desire? I could give you treasure, ships, an article in a popular magazine. Maybe even make you prettier than you already are. Come on, Link. The Ocean King has need of us to save the world. We must ship out! You suck! Later, at an island to the north, 
Excuse me, are you Zao's? Ah, good day, mate. So, am I on the nose and guessing that you two are the bloke and Sheila that are trying to save the Ocean King? Um... Well, uh, maybe? Look, can you give us that legendary sword so we can use it to defeat Bellum? Nope. What? Why not? Do you want the world destroyed or something? Now don't spit on the dummy, Sheila. I just meant that I need sacred metals to forge the sword, and I don't have any of them. Because the Ocean King sent them to every race across the sea, he did. The Ocean King sent them across the sea? So you're saying the Ocean King has made our quest to save him even harder than it already was? Too right. <laughs> Come on, Link. We might as well hurry up and get done with this. Okay. On the island of Gorons. Welcome to our island, strangers. Now to what do I owe this visit? Well, you see, sir, we're on a mission from God. I love that movie. You see, sir, we're searching for the sacred metals, so we can save the sea from a terrible evil. So, can we have one? Well, yeah, sure. But only if you become one of us. Aw, but I don't want plastic surgery and blood transfusions. Well, actually, you only need to answer these three questions. Oh, wow. What a simple racial crossing system. Racial what? Your first question is, what is the best way to explain any mystery? What kind of question is that? The answer is, sea turtles. What? Wow, you actually got that one correct. What? Next question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What? That's not a question, that's just a tongue twister. The amount of wood that a woodchuck would chuck on a given day variety greatly depends on the individual woodchuck. But since a woodchuck chucks around 35 cubic feet of dirt in the course of digging a burrow, it is estimated that it could chuck an amount equal to 700 pounds of wood. What? How, how could you... But... Right again. You're pretty smart there, kiddo. Link? Smart? That's it. I must have died and gone to hell. There's no other explanation. It's time for the final question. Are you ready? Yes. What is my favorite color? Okay, there's no way we can possibly answer that without knowing anything about you. Your favorite color is the color that you favor, because there is no color that can be favorite unless it is favored. Right again! What the hell?! Congratulations and welcome to the tribe! Now wasn't that easier than what they did in that movie? <laughs> oh, flying those silly lizards. <laughs> oh, silly blue people. Now, my son will show you the way to our temple, where we keep the sacred metal. And never accept you as one of us! Nee! What the hell? <laughs>